Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay Fay, and today I'm talking about if you should DIY or buy these bamboo shades. I'm going to break this video into three parts, the first being how to make the shade, the second being should you DIY or buy, and the third being if you decide to DIY, how to improve upon my design. I'm going to write in the description below where each segment starts, so if you want to skip right to a part, you can go ahead and do that. So let's get started. I started by cutting some fencing to the width of my window using my miter saw. Then I trimmed it to the correct length by cutting the wires and retwisting them around the remaining twigs. The fencing I'm using is actually willow fencing because I wanted a darker look, but bamboo fencing is very similar and available as well. Then I measured my shade and determined where the evenly spaced dowel rods would go. For details on the math, as well as how I determine the proper length and width of the shade, check out the blog post linked in the description below. Because this shade is pretty heavy, I used half inch dowel rods and inserted them into the wires. Most of the time, the wire was loose enough that the dowel fit, but occasionally I had to remove a twig or two to make it work. You might also notice that my dowels are dark. I stained them before I started so that they match the twigs. As I went along, I added a one inch plastic ring to each end of the dowel rod, typically three to four inches from the edge of the shade. Once the dowel rods and rings were in place, I added a liner. This part's probably optional, but I did it since I was planning to put this shade in a bedroom and wanted at least some privacy at night. To secure the liner, I glued it to the twigs using a hot glue gun. As I went along, I snipped a little hole wherever the plastic rings were so that I could install the twine for operating the shade later on. Then I built the mounting board. This is simply a one by two cut to the width of my window. I added a one and a half inch angle bracket and small screw eye to each end. I was mounting the shade on the sides of my window frame so the angle brackets were mounted accordingly. You can mount them on the back of the board if that makes more sense for your project. The screw eyes I used were some I had around and were super small. I'd consider using bigger ones if you've got them. I used electrical staples to attach the mounting bracket to the shade. The key here is to install the electrical staples around the wire, not around the twigs. The wires are what hold the entire shade together, so by securing the wire, you're securing the weight of the shade. Finally, I added the nylon twine that works the shade. It's made up of two distinct strings. The first one goes through every single ring, including the screw eyes at top, and is tied in place on the right side of the shade. It's left loose on the left side to ultimately operate the shade. The second string only goes through the rings on the left side. It goes up the left side, goes through the screw eye on top, then comes back down. One end is tied in place, while the other is left free to work the shade. All the knots I used were bowline knots. I've linked to a super helpful video in the description below if you don't know how to tie these. Okay, so time to get real with you. These shades, they suck. Like I know they look pretty right now and they look pretty in all of the pictures and everything like that, but that's because I spent 10 minutes making them look that way. You move these curtains aside and they stick out multiple inches and that's just not attractive. Same deal over here, like even though I pushed them all the way back in, like no, no, they still stick out and it's not cool. And if you're thinking maybe they'll look better down, well, let me show you how well they operate. So, first of all, they can stop. But once you get them down, once again, if I arrange the curtains nicely, maybe they look nice, but push them back and you have all, you can see the sheet on the other side and that's not cool. You can see where the sheet ends and that's not that pretty either. And that can totally, there are some ways to get around that. Um, it's probably my fault for not cutting the sheet big enough, but still not that pretty during the day. And so then when you go to put it back up, it's a really heavy shade and it doesn't go up and down terribly easily. <laughs> Can 
you tell I'm having some problems? Um, so, yeah, not the best. Finally, if that wasn't enough, if seeing me struggle to put this thing up and down didn't convince you, they shed. It sheds like crazy. Little pieces all over the ground, like it's everywhere. Super annoying. On top of all of that, all of my complaints about how it works and whatnot, and how it looks, it didn't actually save me much money. I think these two shades that I built cost me about $80 total, and I could have bought shades for $100. So, based on exactly what I did, I'm gonna say we should be buying these, not DIYing. But if you're completely convinced, stay tuned for part three because I have some ideas to make this a better DIY than what I did. So if you're still thinking you might DIY, I've got some ideas for you. First off, if you use a liner, make sure it covers the entire shade, up and down and side to side. That way you don't have any awkward differences coming in at the edges. Um, I'd also consider using a blackout liner. I think it would just look a lot nicer. You wouldn't have to worry about the light shining through at all. Um, and I think that would have just made mine look much better when the shade was down. Secondly, as you saw earlier, I had huge problems working the shade. That it was hard to raise and it got stuck when it was being lowered. A lot of that was because my shade was too bulky and too heavy. Um, I was using fencing in my shade, um, and all of these twigs are circular and bulky and heavy. Um, I actually think a bamboo mat, if you can find one that's thin, um, would actually work better. It would be thinner, I think it would be lighter, and I think you might actually be able to make a shade that works with that. I don't know pricing-wise what that looks like, but it would be worth looking into. Um, if you do that, please let me know how it goes. I would love to give that a try, but I am out of budget for this project, so that's not going to happen. But if you do try that, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear if it works out. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And if you want more information, check out the blog post linked in the description below. Thanks, and don't forget to hit subscribe.